Hi, I'm Brett, the Alumni Officer here at Leeds Trinity. I'm absolutely delighted to welcome back John Goldthorpe from the class of 1980 to campus today. Got some really great news. John's just been selected to represent England on a cricket tour of Barbados, where he'll be taking on other teams, including Australia, West Indies and the USA. So John's going to tell us a little bit more about that, but we're going to start with some of his memories uh, from Leeds Trinity. Um, now, I, I know John as a footballer, um, obviously very good at a range of sports. Let, let's start with football, because we do have a blazer that we proudly display around campus. And I must admit, um, I, I do have more of Derek Meyer's clothes than my own these days, because he's given <laughs> us so much. But um, I know there's a special um, story behind the blazer. So tell, tell us a bit more about your your time here in the football team and what that blazer means to you. Morning, Brett. Morning. My, uh, my time here began in 1980. And I think I was really, as soon as a friend of mine, uh, John Neary, who sadly passed away some time ago, uh, and he ran the football here. Uh, he, as soon as he knew I was coming, I actually played some football for... I'm going to call it uh, Trinity in all Saints, because that's, that's what yeah. comes out naturally, yeah. uh, for, for task. Um, before I even started, Brett, yeah. I'd played three or four games because he knew me. I'd played a bit of football with him, um, and I was in. I uh, didn't have to do any of the trials or whatever. Yeah. Uh, so I started then, and that was just a fantastic footballing journey. Uh, I said to you on the tour earlier that um, we trained so hard, and it was so functional and... The kit was fantastic, and it was we were run like a, a semi-pro team, and we played we played hard, um, you know, had some fun, partied hard, and it was just a, a fantastic four years that I had, uh, which included um, the college's first ever British college's win. Yeah. Uh, we had a one-nil win in a final down in Dudley, and then the following year we 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 lost. If I get this right, it was either five-four or four-three. Uh, but our goalie, had to, Ali Merrick, had to go off with a broken arm, and it was just one of those games where it just didn't quite, didn't quite run. But that final was famous for not for this coloured blaze; it was famous for a, for almost a purpley pink. Um, and um, to many, we looked like Wallace Arnold bus drivers. <laughs> um, so I don't know whether Derek ever ended up with one of those, but they'll be a bit of a rarity yeah. if anybody well, anybody finds one. Well, tucked away can. in a charity shop somewhere. Yeah. Well, if anyone can, Derek can. Absolutely. Yeah. So I had a, a great time. We won that. We won the league uh, in at that time, and the um, yeah the football was just great, and the camaraderie was fantastic. Um, the college hadn't on a Wednesday afternoon used to play in something called the the Leeds Half Holiday League against Leeds Post and Leeds Miners and all sorts of and it was a good grounding it was a hard grounding yeah. but then uh, as it went into my third year we went into the to started playing against the um, the other universities and which start obviously Wednesdays would go away yeah. and had some uh, had some fantastic fun which was linked um, significantly and the old boys will remember this vividly that um, Frankie goes to Hollywood was um, was top right. top notch and we um, our, our main reactive song was was relax and everybody would be on the dance floor doing some rather strange moves <laughs> Brett, which i won't, won't repeat yeah. here but it was it was great times fantastic times and then i was fortunate enough after having a a year away um which was my first year in teaching uh, and i came back to run the football for it was either six or seven years yeah. and we were just i followed a very similar model to what john nary had yeah. but um I'd like to think I trained it up a little bit differently and just continued a lot of the a lot of the fantastic things and and just coming here today with the with the Latin ingenio et socio uh, tate abundamus uh, we abound in character and team spirit which just sums up uh, this place yeah. and our football fantastically yeah. fantastically we're very proud we've got the um, frame shirts in the sports center which derek uh, kindly donated and what does it mean to you to see that shirt up on the wall as you go in well john neary before me um he got those they're a little bit like a burnley shirt aren't they and yeah. um it's got the badge on and th the memories of that shirt to me are we used to call it the blood sweat and tears um 
because that's what John and me later on expected people to give, um, you know, towards the cause. Yeah. Um, bizarrely, one of the things that actually um, stands out is that it's middle of it's middle of December or January, and we're up on a hill in. Um, Elland or wherever we are out in West Yorkshire and we're playing in that because it's a short sleeve yeah it's a short sleeve shirt and that showed that we were up for business yeah not uh, there was nothing soft about what we did yeah. and um, yeah blood sweat and tears short yeah. sleeves massive memories yeah. so brilliant so moving on to cricket yep so obviously you're very talented cricket as well as football now the interesting thing for me when you got in touch was this isn't the first time you've been to Barbados right. on a tour. So That's you very right. kindly um, given us this uh, program. So this was from 1982. Yeah. So how does it feel now compared to then to be selected again to represent England? Well, I'll come to that in a minute. So let me just say that I, when I went on that tour, I, well, I'd never played a game for, for task of yeah. uh, cricket because there wasn't any. Yeah. So I, I got into the British College's side, I suppose via what I was doing in club cricket and, and, and you know, regional stuff. Um, and the, the college gave me and the Students' Union a significant amount of funds to help me on my yeah, way. Brilliant. Um, there was um, uh, Shelley, was, a, was, was the dance lead here and she gave me some sponsorship as well, and off and away for three weeks. Um, the West Indies were at, the, at their absolute pomp, and we didn't win one game, right. but we had a great time. Yeah. We had a great time. So yeah, back in 82, and then the chance, if we move forward all these years to, to England seniors, again, I told you earlier, but my little story was that when I, when I fully retired, I still do a little bit of PE supply, yeah. Um, I said to my three kids that I was going to play for England and they laughed. Yeah. Well, I have. Yeah. So last year I made my debut against um, Wales and Scotland for England 60s. Uh, great setup of mind, lad, mind, you know, of similar ilk, they're, they're thinking down the same ways. It's a totally different game, Brett. Yeah. It's a it's much a slower game, you've got to be more patient. But um, I mean, back from that, we play every Tuesday for Yorkshire. Um, and there's a lot of fielding with feet and things yeah. like that. A few more drop catches than there used to be, but yeah. it's good. It's good. Uh, it's, it's great. Um, yeah, so Barbados 82, and it's going to be Barbados in uh, in 23. Yeah. Now, that's quite a gap, is that, isn't it? A little that's bit. It's quite a gap. Yeah. And how would you say you've changed as a person or a sports person in that time? <laughs> oh, I, I don't know. I, I, I think in my... In my life, I've got a bit of a, um, I've got a sporting personality. I've definitely got a teaching personality because I was um, in charge of behaviour discipline safeguarding as yeah. well, and uh, and then I have a, um, I would say a, a family personality. Yeah. And they're all pretty, they're all a bit different. Yeah. So, life runs in lots of different ways, lots, and it has done, it has done over the time. Yeah. And yeah. do you know any of the other players in the team? I'm, I'm guessing there's no one there from. 82 that's in the, no. the same boat but no there isn't no um there's martin watkin uh is from hull and he plays for yorkshire so we're the two yorkshire lads that have uh, yeah. have got into the 16 and then there's another yorkshire lad that there was a wider squad of 33 for the summer and then they've honed it down to 16 for the top yeah, so, yeah, yeah. wow and what what are your hopes and expectations for the, for this tour well we've just been we've just um I've just come back from a two-day training camp at Loughborough, yeah. um, which was, you know, a lot about getting to know some of the players that we didn't know and, and bonding and, and you know, getting in in a good place, which is incredible for sixty-year-olds. Yeah. It, it is, and it was it was a really good two days. We were coached by Paul Farbrace and Andy Pick. Paul Farbrace is a he's coached Sri Lanka and he's he was an England assistant and a, a Yorkshire coach and and just. And it really did show that you you, you can make changes at a later a yeah. later stage in your in your life and your career and you can. Yeah. And he was talking about slow wickets in the West Indies and you know how to manipulate the field and we watch watch all these fancy shots now, 
and we were doing we were sweeping and reverse yeah. sweeping and reverse hitting and uh, you know but little things little things like where you where your balance is and how important your head is yeah. and so it was good it was good and you you can teach old what's this saying old old dogs new old tricks. dogs new yeah. tricks so there were plenty of tricks yeah. to old dogs yeah and great. do you have a speciality you batter bowler I'm, I'm, I'm a keeper yeah, I'm a okay. keeper and uh, I uh, I bat as well. I bat four for Yorkshire and had <clears throat> probably my most productive run scoring season for a long, long time. Yeah. I managed a couple of hundreds and wow. it was nice. It was nice to get back into that to that batting groove. Yeah. But you're going in good form then. Yeah, I hope so. I yeah. hope so. If I get in, <laughs> if I get in. Yeah, and um, what what for you would measure success this this time? I think I measure my own. I mean, you can measure it in runs or number of victims or or whatever. But I think being part of a of a of a squad that does as well as it can, and there's some really good players. There yeah. are some really good players. I just want to keep wicket well, and um, if I get to, the chance to bat, I'll um, I'll do my best. Just score some runs, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. And I really like the fact you brought a picture in with you from your graduation. If we can just hold that up a sec. So, so when you remember your times at Leeds Trinity, what 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 are the things you take away from this place, and what does it feel coming back? Well, we were. We were, and I don't know when this disappeared. For for some reason, we didn't study physical education. We studied human movement, yeah. which is a bit, and we became um, the human groovers. Yeah. That's what everybody else called us. Yeah. And we were like black and white penguins yeah. waddling around. But we were we were a fantastic group together, um, and you know, great memories. We've just been in the gym, haven't we? And uh, yeah. you know, I learnt so much in there from. From the likes of Gene Williams, and um, who was the education yeah. gymnastics guru, and Margaret Tolbert, um, Dan Baldessaris, um, and Rosie, Rosie Connell, yeah. and Shelley as well. All of them. Uh, yeah. Martin Lee was one that who made a mark with me as well. And uh, just um, just great times, great learning times. And I still use I still use Gene Williams' education gymnastics book yeah. um, to this day in terms of teaching gymnastics through themes rather than through uh, through uh, you know specific moves and whatever yeah so yeah i've got uh, a lot a lot to remember about my time here wh where we lived i mean i'm a local boy but i still lived out yeah and there was a lot going on in the halls we won't talk about that <laughs> and then lived down in horsforth um moved twice but it was just um the camaraderie through the football through the human movement through the through the through the bar through singing, songs yeah. were a powerful thing, uh, really, that we sang when we were away. Uh, just fantastic, yeah. absolutely fantastic. Brilliant. I, I know, um, particularly your group, I see people come back from reunions, there, there is such great camaraderie. Mm. So I've got a scenario to <laughs> end with you. Um, so you're in bat in Barbados, you need to hit a six to win. Um, and you, you can think of anyone who's going to be opposite you from your Leeds Trinity time. Who out of these three people would motivate you most to hit that, set, that, that six? Derek Myers, Bruce Rainford or Paul Batty? Very good, Brett. Now, if I don't say, well, Paul, we, we all call him Jack. Yeah. If I don't say Jack, he'll be peppering me on Facebook or something for not saying, for not saying, well, I'm a better cricket than them or whatever. But yeah. they would all, I think they would all give advice in different ways. Um, I've played cricket with Bruce before and Bruce would give a, a very sound reasoning, as probably would Derek. Uh, and if I could swear, Jack would just say, uh, get your head down and <coughs> it. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah that way it would, um, I would get, uh, all I know from those three, Bruce played, uh, I don't know whether you know, Bruce actually played for British Colleges at cricket yeah, as well. Right. Jack played for... British colleges at, at football. Yeah. Uh, Derek was a, a good all-rounder at both sports. Yeah. Um, they would they would give some nice advice, some yeah. nice friendly advice, and they would they would hope that you could do it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm sure they'll be following your progress yeah. as I I'm will. Sure. And, I'm sure. Um, and thank you for coming back. It's a pleasure for me to welcome you back. I've, as you'll see behind, we've got great pictures of yeah, you yeah. and the team from your time here, and something we're always very proud of. Really proud of everything you've achieved in your career and. Wish you all the best for the tour. We really? look forward to finding out how it goes. That um, that photograph behind us, uh, and the and the and the blazers brings back fantastic memories. Uh, and just so people know, there's two of us with tashes there. But the one <laughs> on the left hand side is Sean Dudgeon, yeah. who was also a teacher. 
I haven't seen him for ages. Yeah. He scored the winner in the British Colleges Cup final. And David Thompson in the middle was quick, yeah. really quick. Yeah. I won't tell you what he used to do on the buses <laughs> on the way back. He did Everybody yeah. of my ilk <laughs> would know what he did. Yeah. And he, he went on to play for Rochdale as a pro. And then there's me and I, I know all the ones tucked away in the background as well. Brilliant. Fantastic. Brilliant. Yeah, well, thank you so much. Very best of luck. I look forward to finding out how it goes. Thank you, Brett. Brilliant. Pleasure, Cheers, John. Absolute pleasure.